New at six, one of the Metro's largest school districts hopes to make money and hopes that it will motivate educators to join the ranks. Atlanta Public Schools is proposing raises beyond what Governor Kemp included in the new fiscal year budget. Atlanta News First, Adam Murphy has the details. Educators say, I want time to teach. Lisa Morgan knows exactly what teachers want and need. She's the president of the Georgia Association of Educators and has been teaching students for more than 20 years. Number one was educators feeling burned out. Number two was student mental health. And number three was educator pay being too low. Pay raises are now on the table for teachers at Atlanta Public Schools. The district is proposing an 11% pay raise for next school year. Our minimum state salary scale is uh, for a little over $41,000. And so if you look at that's what the state is providing and in Atlanta public schools, they're saying it's going to be 61,000 for that first year teacher. The pay bump marks the district's largest pay raise since 2009, according to the chief human resources officer for APS. It most certainly will help attract candidates, which also means that we'll have better quality in our applicant pool. Hopefully it'll allow us to retain our teachers as well. The goal is always to retain because we don't want to lose our teachers. Teachers can also get extra pay for specializing in high need subjects or if they teach at high need schools. Since the district wide pay raise was placed on the table, APS said they have already received more qualified and experienced applicants. The teachers have entered the APS portal. We have tons of candidates. Our vacancies in one day have gone down. Uh, we were at 100 vacancies yesterday. Today we're down to 87. And APS tells me that if a teacher takes all of the incentives that they are offering, they could earn up to $67,000 in their first year. At Atlanta Public Schools headquarters in downtown Atlanta, Adam Murphy, Atlanta News First.